Carefully read each problem before writing your answer. Nancy's cutting out paper stars for a science project. She can cut out three stars each minute. Calculate how many stars she will have cut out after 12 minutes. After each minute, Nancy will have cut an additional three stars. The problem can be solved several ways. One way is to just add three 12 times. Three plus three plus three, etc. You could also skip count by threes. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, and so on. Probably the best way is to simply just multiply three times 12, or you can go 12 times three. The answer is 36 stars. How many vertices does an isosceles trapezoid have? Going to answer this question is to imagine an isosceles trapezoid. And here's what one looks like. It has four sides, one set of opposite sides that are parallel, and the other two sides are not parallel, but they're equal in length. And I show that by these little tick marks. An isosceles trapezoid is a special case of a quadrilateral. A quadrilateral has four sides and four vertices. So that answers the question. Here are some reminders for when you are completing this extended constructive response task. Carefully read each part of the task before writing your response. Be sure to complete all parts of the task. Clearly explain your answer and show all your work. Ronald wrote the following sequence of numbers on the blackboard. 2, 5, 8, 11. He explained that the rule for his pattern is add 3, since each number is 3 more than the previous number. Ronald's teacher then wrote a new sequence of numbers up on the board. 5, 20, 35, 50. Respond to the following questions using the pattern created by Ronald's teacher. What is the rule for the pattern? Explain your reasoning. What would be the next three numbers in the pattern? Will the number 100 be part of the pattern? How do you know? We want to find the rule for this pattern. Hmm. Usually, we have to apply some rule of arithmetic. We add, subtract, multiply, divide. So when you see 5, then 20, what do you think about? Well, there's a couple things. If you multiply 5 times 4, you get 20. But it has to be the same thing for the next term. 20 times 4 is not 35. That's not going to work. Oh wait, 20 plus 15 is 35. That works over here too. 5 plus 15 is 20. 20 plus 15 is 35. 35 plus 15 is 50. Oh, so what is the rule? We can just state add 15 is the rule. Or we can say the rule is add 15. Explain your reasoning. We could do something like the following. Just state the things we added up. 5 plus 15 
is 20. 20 plus 15 equals 35. 35 plus 15 equals 50. And then you can also just scribble down below that in detail. Therefore, each term in the sequence is 15 more than the term before it. A good way to answer this question is as follows. Just show some of the work. You have 50, just add 15. You get 65. 65 plus 15, 80. 80 plus 15, 95. And then state in a nice sentence the answer. The next three numbers in the pattern are 65, 80, and 95. One way of writing this response is as follows. No, 100 is not part of the pattern, since if we add 15 to 95, we get 110. 100 is skipped over.